So Helen, you've mm. been a lifetime working on this. What does self-preserving mean? Mm. Well, it means um, clever formulation, clever um, development of the product, uh, clever manufacture of the product. It's uh, biomimicry though, isn't it? Biomimicry, possibly. Where you take a, an aspect of, of honey. Bees can't eat honey. They can only eat nectar. Mm -hmm. A nectar is too watery to store over winter. So they evolved, the honeybee evolved, to be able to last over winter with a full... Because most, all, say all the wasps will die out, all the solitary bees, they all, they all die out. Just mm. the queens survive. Mm. But not with the honeybees, they all survive. Mm. But in order to survive, they had to work out how to change nectar to honey. Yeah. And they did that by reducing the water level mm -hmm. to a certain level. Yeah. But they can't actually eat honey. Mm -hmm. They can only eat nectar, so they then have to go out in the winter and get water, come back, dilute it, yeah. and then they can eat it. Mm. And I think that's what you've done with these creams, isn't that's it? That's exactly, yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> um, that's the clever formulation bit, yes. where you um, take the water down, take the water down. Uh, so self-preserving dream cream, for example, that took 90 different exercises to get the water just right to um, help the product preserve itself, but to enable the product to still function well on the skin. And it's quite interesting to, you know, take the water out, take the water out, what, what do you replace it with, but also having to take out the fruits and vegetables to a level that the, the product can sustain actually shows you how powerful preservatives are. Yeah. So if you think the preserved form of skin drink has 8% of fresh avocado, that's your lovely formula. Yeah. Well, the self-preserved formula, or you could say my formula, can only sustain 0.1% of fresh avocado. Yeah. And we use half the minimal amounts of preservative that's legislated yeah. for, so that's how powerful they are. Yeah. So the self-preserving formulas, they're, they're different because we've had to compensate for that reduction in water by using other things. But then that's enabled us to perhaps use more butters, more vegetable oils. I must admit, I'm quite proud to work with you doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a great, I think it is a lifetime's work and mm. I think it's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's good. my personal it? opinion, even yeah. though we're friends. You know, one of the questions might be, why doesn't the rest of the industry do it? Um, and because, you know, for someone like me, there has to be another product champion supporting the work. Yeah. Um, because it means a lot to retail these sorts of products, the information to the customer. And if there isn't somebody behind someone like me, which is you, um, the work can't... But, you, but also, you need your own shops because yeah. in a conventional environment, it would go into a warehouse, that would then go into the back of the shop, that would then, and we have a policy of, of that isn't allowed. One of the reasons other cosmetic companies can't do these things is because they don't have their own manufacturing. They get the manufacturer by a contract manufacturer, probably in, in another country far away, China or Singapore or somewhere like that, mm -hmm. and, and then that will has to be shipped over. So that has to last forever. And anyway, they aren't controlling their own manufacturing. Mm. But we've made the effort to have all our own factories, haven't we? We have, yeah. And we love that. You know, I, I love, you know, so I could be really quite removed from that process. And, and I'm not. And I, I really like that. So the main differences between the, the self-preserved products and the conventional products that they'd already had mm -hmm is just the fact that there's a bit less water or no they're they they have to be different in structure kind of replace that water content with with other things so it, it might be more glycerin it might be more vegetable oil um it it it's it's striking that fine balance and also the self-preserving formulas can't quite um support as much fruit and vegetable. So something like vanishing cream is quite tricky to do because it's for skin that um, is quite troubled, just tends to be a little bit oily. Um, and so you want to, to be able to get a fine, easily absorbed sort of texture going. 
um, without you know being able to put quite a large water content in that's very difficult but that's where the steaming came in you know you're able to introduce live steam into that which is also sterile water yeah. which helps um, and it just introduces that little bit more moisture into mm. the whole thing and it just balances it out um, so that's the main difference is that the self-preserving creams they're more concentrated i think that's a good way of looking at it so you you can probably use less um, and if so for example you pat your self-preserving moisturizer onto damp skin you've then got a little bit of moisture there already and that yeah. that sort of helps you know there is evidence that uh, modern cosmetics have reduce the amount of variety of micro of microflora on the skin and that's not a good thing i mean we have you know on our skin we have about a million organisms of various sorts per square centimeter so in western civilization our microflora is much less diverse than in would this uh, be linked in with people getting more allergies and things like that oh uh, yes yeah very right. much so in uh, you know sort of societies perhaps in papua or new guinea their skin's microflora is much more diverse and there's this little theory about old friends um, where the microorganisms that we're exposed to as hunter gatherers we don't, we're not exposed to them anymore or any microbes from the soil we, we're not exposed to those no. um, so our microflora isn't as robust and able to protect us um, as it as it used to be why would you want to use a preserved product if you can find a really good unpreserved product mm. that that suits your skin yeah